Savage can keep those legs going are going to stop him in midfield. Over at the 49 yard line. Gurley with a big hole and a first down and a lot more. Todd Gurley to the 29 yard line. Oh, Steve, that's that's Gurley had a total of 28 rushing yards last week. He already has 41 tonight. And he's going to pick up a few more here. Out of bounds, Cook busted. Had that clavicle over it. Third and one. And Doc fires, and that'll be caught. Brandon Cooks with the catch to the 10. Four man rush. Here comes the pressure. Down he goes to the 26 yard line. They can get there with a four man rush and leave seven back in the secondary, and that's what's working again. Zero line with a 41 yard attempt, and that one is good. Sproles is in the backfield. some of the highlights the Eagles end up beating the Rams on 30 or 23 I mean they got a little tight at the end but the Eagles um pulled it out nonetheless so a lot of people are saying that Nick Foles is better than Carson Wentz you know Nick Foles gives the Eagles a better chance to win let me tell you something Nick Foles won a Super Bowl MVP he won playoff games he won this game he deserves credit does he deserve to be a starting quarterback in the league yes but at the end of the day you drafted a franchise quarterback and predominantly you're going to have to sign Carson Wentz sooner or later Carson Wentz is your starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles but what I would tell you when Nick Foles was in there he was finding out Sean Jeffrey he wasn't always throwing to Zach Ertz and the issue is that Carson Wentz Always do to Zach Ertz. Always do it to him. Safety blanket. And I think my brother was telling me this um, a couple of times. And he's saying, well, maybe um, Carson Wentz doesn't like Alshon Jeffrey. And, you know, and I just think that maybe Wentz was hurt and he didn't trust his front foot. I, I don't know what's going on. But when Nick Foles in there, him and Alshon Jeffrey have a good rapport with each other, you can spread the ball around. Not saying Carson Wentz can't play but you have people saying oh well you should trade Carson Wentz and get a first round draft you're not going to do that because he's you're not going to do that Nick Foles isn't going to win you 13 games every season you know Wentz in my opinion I think you should have sat Wentz down a little bit longer until rushing him in that's what I thought you know Wentz his numbers was good but he was Five and six as a starter. But, you know, that was the case there. Um, they're seven and seven. Do they have a chance to um, make the playoffs? Yes. They beat Houston. They beat Washington. Also, Carolina plays the Saints tonight. Now, there's a good chance that the Saints can beat the Panthers, but you looked at it last, last night. You see the 49ers beat Seattle. You've seen the Redskins beat Jacksonville. So anything can happen, and then you need Minnesota to lose one of their last two games. And then Dallas lost to the Colts. So if the Saints beat the Panthers tonight, Minnesota lose one of their two games, which is possible, and the Eagles win, Eagles win all their remaining games, they will make um, the playoffs. But, um, I mean, I was just happy that, and, and the team looked relaxed, the team looked, uh, they looked exciting, they were had a lot of energy on the sideline. One thing I was concerned about, because I think Wendell Smallwood said that Nick Foles gave, us, gave them their swagger back. Now, is that an indictment on Carson Wentz? Is that an indictment on him? Is Do they trust Carson Wentz? Do the players on the team like Carson Wentz? That's just something to... You know, ask. I'm not saying that he doesn't, but when you heard the running back say that he gave us a swagger, they missed playing with him. Is it is that the case, or do they like Carson Wentz? Do they have swagger with him? I mean, you 
you can say that, but you have to understand they did win um, 11 games with Carson Wentz. They did win 11 games with him. So, at the end of the day, they put some wins together when he was um, the quarterback. So, you have to understand that. Right now, it's just been a, a rough year for Wentz because the injury. Now, he has a stress fracture in her ba- in his back. And then I was watching the sports shows in the morning, and Skip Bayless was saying, well, Nick Foles is a better quarterback playing for the Eagles than Carson Wentz because Carson Wentz doesn't have a feel for the game. I mean, are you really, really serious? I mean, you just made it seem like the guy can't play in this league. You just made it seem like, well, he should just retire and go play. Come on now. I know you don't like the Eagles like that, but come on. Give it a rest. Okay. Defense played better. You know, Rams made it interesting. They're the Rams. So, you have to expect that. Nick Foles threw an interception. I'm like, "Uh oh, here we go again. You get a touchdown in that moment, you pretty much wrapped it up. I would have punted. I wouldn't have tried a field goal attempt there. You punt and you pin them back inside the 15, inside the 20. They have no timeouts. Take it down the field. You know, they have to go the length of the field. So, without any timeouts. So, that was the only thing that I had an issue with. But the Eagles won. They are a game back of the Dallas Cowboys. Eagles and the Redskins. Eagles play the Texans next week. Saints play the Panthers tonight. You got to pull for the Saints and you got to pull for the Lions. Eagles have to win the remaining two games. Make sure you like the video and also subscribe and comment.